Good afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers. This is episode number 375 on this April the 23rd, Saturday, 2022, of your three business tips at 3 o'clock in and around three minutes. I'm super stoked, guys. We're kicking off a new series this week talking about small business challenges Today we're going to talk about uncertain futures, financial management, and monitoring. And this is a new series we're kicking off, part one of seven. So business tip number one, uncertain future. Small business owners, solopreneurs, your goal, your mission, one of the things you do as a business owner is you've got to be looking ahead to the future as to what's coming down the pipe. You've got to be able to be one of the first people that knows that can ebb and flow with the different types of things that are coming on and being able to pivot, anticipate, and continue to grow. Because one thing's for sure is that your business today, what you think your products and services are, may change mainly due to the environment or to other supplies and demands by consumers as to what you do. Perfect example of that is COVID. Who knew that travel agents would have to pretty much shut down cruises and, and perform travel uh, refunds as well as travel uh, locally? That's a pivot. In my industry, we started out doing websites and Facebook before Facebook disallowed that for any page that was less than 2,000 likes. So you got to be able to pivot into other things. Business tip number two is you've got to be and be concerned and look at the financial management of your of your business. Let's say you get past the two years where most businesses fail, you're still going to need to be business owners, the one that controls the finances, look about growth and how you use it. Business tip number three, things that you should be doing that I think you should spend a lot of time on and being uh, uh, in an area of growth and that is monitoring. Now from a business perspective, you have to determine business owners what is the right monitoring to determine whether or not you're going to be successful. Many business owners only monitor their gross uh, sales, which is one indicator that is, but you could be monitoring reviews, you could be monitoring your staff's feelings through surveys. There are lots of elements that would determine success. And what is success for you in your small business? And that varies from person to person and for the reasons that you start. So you need to be monitoring all of these items as a possibility for growth. This week, we're going to really focus in on things that are hindrance and problems and uh, concerns. Again, a review. We've talked about an uncertain future, financial management, and monitoring. Anything I learn, I throw with the fence to you because I want you guys to be awesome. Now go back to sleep. Mm -hmm.